Hey, what's up guys? Justin again, Family Jewels. I just wanted to show off uh, a couple little new pickups we got and then I'm going to show off our second clutch that we had this year that finally shed out. And both our first clutch and our second clutch have already eaten now. Uh, we've just been slack on getting a video out. But I got two of these females. Um, they're yellow belly, possible yellow belly gravel. They came from uh, highway pairings. Both are, both have different uh, mothers, but they're from the same sire, which was a highway. <clears throat> so they're either gravel or yellow belly. I believe this one to be a pastel. Hopefully gravel, possible yellow belly. And then I think the other one I'm gonna go get, I believe it to be a super pastel uh, yellow belly or hopefully a gravel. So I wanna make my own highways. I'm gonna try to do that in a few years. So, and just, I think these are gorgeous snakes myself. I think that's beautiful. I've, you know, I got one male super inchy yellow belly, but I don't know. I couldn't resist the trade. Okay, and this is my second little girl that I got in trade. She she takes strikes at me. Pretty awesome. Whoa. Um, she is, I believe her to be a super pastel. I believe her to be a super pastel gravel or yellow belly. I'm hoping they're gravel, of course. And, uh, but man, look at that beautiful thing. Let's see. Just as hatchlings, these things are so gorgeous. And I did not produce, I didn't, I did not produce these two females. As I said, I got these in a trade for um, a female motley boa that I just felt bad keeping her separate from all, you know, I had a place for a motley boa all by herself. And then uh, Nick Bergner from Big Borg Reptiles, I know he was had a breeding program with boas that he was trying to do, and he wanted a female motley boa, and she was gorgeous, and so I got these, um, I got these two, two little female ball pythons, and I was also trying to free up that the boa files as much as possible for my super dwarfs. I'm getting more super dwarfs, of course. Super dwarfs, of course, which I like. I was trying to get her. She might take a strike at me. Nice. You want to say hi? You want to talk about Carrie while I go get my other snake? Yep. Mine bought it. And. Barrows. Yeah, be nice to carry, huh? Yeah. That's what the, this is about. Those... Or the eighteen knuckle sandwiches. Eighteen knuckle sandwiches. That's big. Mm -hmm. Here's the deal. This is my second clutch of this year. <clears throat> now, I figured. I figured. I was going to do a dual sired clutch, but because one of my sires was going to be, excuse me, was going to be a super pet red exanthic, also known as a red exanthic, I was like, oh yeah, that'll be easy to identify the babies. And I thought, well, we'll use our Savannah female, and then I was going to use my pastel GHI sunset male, which I used. Here's the confusion. Last year, I also bred that Savannah female, and we had a bunch of crazy looking babies that I couldn't understand what were, as far as what the genetics were I thought I had. Oh, I still have it. I can show it later. I don't know what my Savannah is now. I thought she was a Cinnamon Mojave, but now I'm thinking she might be a Cinnamon Mystic or something. Long story short, I'm gonna show you this second clutch. If you can identify them, awesome. But again, pairing. Male G, pastel GHI het sunset. And second male, a pastel red example. Which is 
a super. Okay, a little con just a minute, bud. Now, my female again was supposed to be a Savannah, which is a cinnamon Mojave. Look at these things. I don't know what this is. I have cinnamons. Hold it up a little. Yeah, I don't believe this to be a cinnamon. Don't believe it. No, it's not a Mojave. Yeah, go ahead. Baby. Yeah, thanks, sweetheart. <laughs> Can you help one. your brother get out? She can't get him out of there. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I don't know. It could possibly be at sunset. If the male was the GHI. Now, when you see the other snakes, maybe you'll help me know if I got one sire or dual sire. I don't think this is a het red exanthic. It does certainly doesn't look anything like my other het red exanthic. But my other het red exanthics are pastel. Both of them. So, this could be just a het red exanthic. I'd have to, you know, maybe should have went on Morph Mark and did some more research before I showed them off. But I'm excited and I thought maybe some of you guys could help. Okay, so this one is the probably closest to normal looking one. Now I will go get the other, like, step up the jeans a little bit. All right, guys, help me identify these things. I seriously need help. This is my next baby. This is a female. This is the only potential female I think that I would let go. I think. Unless someone made me some crazy offer. I don't know who would do that. <laughs> but anybody. Ezra says, yeah, buy this snake, somebody. So this one, I mean, you guys let me know. I told you what the pairings are. I have no idea what any of them are. Look at these things. Obviously a lump right there. You can tell these babies are eaten already. So here's one. I suppose that could be a pastel savannah. I don't know. Okay, again. Definitely got cinnamon in there, I would say. It almost looks like a gargoyle. So I'm not 100% sure here. A little jumpy, you can bite me, it's okay. Don't. Yeah. A little jumpy. You're all right, little snake. He'll get, he'll get used to being held, but doesn't seem to bite. Probably got a meal in him right there. But look at that tail. Hey, don't make cry sounds. Well, that's what's not giving me any idea. This is going to be... You'll, he you'll hear this, your whininess forever on YouTube for eternity. <laughs> Anyways. I don't know what this one is. It's a male. Pretty awesome. So cheap for like 12 bucks or something. Just joking. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I don't know. I want... I, I'm really probably the most expensive ball python salesman in the world because I don't really want to sell any of them. But I can't keep all these males. And this guy, I don't even know what he is, so. He's some sort of mutt. He's a mix of a whole bunch of genes. I don't know why everybody would want that. Okay. All right, you guys, this one's the one that can really, really, really confuses me. This is the one that I think has GHI in it. I think this one is everything, I'm hoping. I think this is a pastel ghi cinnamon mojave or mystic which would make more sense and hopefully a het sunset definitely a female i don't think this girl is going anywhere for almost any price just because i want to prove out the het sunset just because my curiosity is almost worth more than money sometimes but i have been called a whore before and i can be bought so <laughs> I mean, for the right price, everything's for sale. And I'd be like, please let me know if it proves out. But she's a sweet girl. Love to know her actual genetics because I have no idea. But you can tell the ones that I immediately fall in love with get a little bit extra special treatment. She's just, we've bonded. She knows, she's like, yeah, I got this guy. 
He's going to feed me and treat me so special. I don't want to go anywhere. So, kind of like my kids. They get pretty spoiled. But look at that stunner. Is she, she's beautiful. I usually am a huge contrast guy and don't like stuff without pattern. But I just love this snake. I don't. What do you think about it, Mama? Do you? I think she's beautiful. Oh, she's gorgeous. Like, I don't know what, the, what she looks like on camera. She's just unique, so super unique so anyways okay you guys got some mail here a lot going on in this video but hey we're busy folks <laughs> it's true i i'm lucky to get a video out i'm thankful i'm bloated from eating barbecue just a minute ago and it's like hey while i let this food set let's get this video out yo because nothing but the best for you guys just joking. I'm really, we're really trying, but we really are busy. I mean, it's like, it's a lot of work having kids. And I mean, like, ask Cusco, he knows. But ask anybody with kids and snakes and jobs and. Okay, so. Oh, cool. This is what we got from the homies over in Texas. Oh, sweet. Nice. Very nice. Let me turn the other side around too. Just a second here. John and Alicia Feely, thank you. And kids, appreciate it. All right, you guys. All right, now that we got just a little bit of silence and quiet for maybe a few seconds, kids are eating popsicles in the yard and Ezra's just in his foot so we want to tell you about our other pregnancy it's not a snake but we're super pumped G is pregnant didn't even know when it happened I was trying to wait until she was completely two years old I always kept them separated he's she's sneaky there's a, absolutely no other dogs around so I know that's certainly not the case I don't know when chief and when he got to her but you guys can see her you see what she looks like if you're into cane corsos so we're about to have puppies. So if anybody out there is interest, interested in a King Corso puppy, both our dogs are papered and we're gonna have our dog, the puppies will be, God willing, if they're all healthy and good, they're gonna be papered, have their ears cropped, all that stuff and tails docked and ready to go. I don't know, in a few months, like what? September, November, October or something? October, like they should be ready. Somewhere in there, okay. All right, so anyways, did I bring that thing up in the view again? Probably. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. So, check out whatever Jacqueline edits in this video. And I thank you so much for looking at my ugly mug. And hopefully you enjoy either the snakes, the dogs, or my kids. Say that I didn't get to the there you go. I hope you potter today. I hope you two potter today. Two sparkles. What? Sparkle? Yeah. That's what I said. You said two Isn't that what you said? Two? Oh, Did yeah. you say I hope your food sparkles or two sparkles? I hope two you... potter. Oh, I yeah, thought that's... you said <laughs> no, that's funny. No, I was repeating what you said. Two sparkles. Two potos. YouTubers. Bye bye.